Welcome to your whoa. Welcome to your airy season exclusive Tarot and Oracle forecast. <laughs> Clap for yourselves. You're alive. You made it. You somehow made it through all the advanced effery. And that must mean you are pretty special. And or raw. And or incredible. And or classic. And or all of the above. And as such, this is definitely going to allow you extraordinary insight into how well you as an individual will mark and define your being. It's not going to be the same as original cycles. So I want to introduce you to a new Patreon exclusive tier that I have on my website. For those of you who want to join this, the link in the description box is below. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm already getting like energy. And like I'm getting energy to channel to you before I could even get there. Spirit is just like, tell him this, tell him this, tell him this. And I'm like, yo, can I introduce the video first? And of course I can manifest his ideas that I'm just too passionate to say, but I know what's up. Anyway. This is the formula of how I'm going to do this. I want to offer this free for those of you who want anything after Taurus season, Gemini season, Cancer season, join the patron family. I am reworking the tiers instead of doing it weekly. It'll be much simpler for me to do it monthly, once a month. So I'll do a, a total comprehensive report. We're going to cover general insights, romantic insights. You know, I got the romance angel cards with me. I got the oracle. You know, I got the oracle. Shout out to Bill Clicker. Anyway, I'm going to draw a couple cards for career insights, and then we'll end with the spiritual message. So we are in airy season. Um, the main message that I'm picking up is allow people the luxury of disliking you. Some people are too defensive. Some people feel like some people get that people won't like you. And you know what I mean? Like they, they get that in this life you have enemies, but you need to allow people the luxury to fully dislike you. Don't change up. Don't switch up your energy. Play to that crowd because the, the only thing different between booing and an applause is that there's no difference. It is all energy. This is something that Jupiter and Sag will help you see. There's no difference between a booing and an applause. It's just a different quality of energy. It's all the same. People are giving you energy. So allow people the luxury of disliking you. Honor people who love you and reflect that respect back to them. But allow, allow people the, the luxury, allow people the ability to find faults within you, to be disgusted with facets of your character. Just don't let any of their opinions get to you because they're completely meaningless. But many of you, especially empaths, are going to be feeling this. And it's only being done in an effort to limit and restrict you. This is the whole Cancer opposite Capricorn. Don't let it restrict you. Be grateful that someone's being honest or even though they're, most people are cowards and, and they're duplicitous in the way they do. Don't Just don't let that get to you. That's the theme I'm getting heavy. Be like that arrogant Aries that doesn't care what anybody else thinks because they're going to do what they're going to do. Even if there are elements of their behavior that are disgusting to others, they don't care because they're there to live their life. And that doesn't mean that they won't change it, but that also doesn't mean that they're going to prioritize other people's opinions. Okay? Strong theme. And let's get to this reading. We are going to start off with a 10 card Celtic cross spread. Okay, you could tell I have too much fun doing this. And uh, let's see what we get. Oh, all right. Okay, this is very nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Of course, can you be surprised? Would you look at that? Hey, okay, this is not a bad season. We do have conflict, but we do have resolution. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, I see where this is going. Okay. Okay, so the underlying theme here is the Queen of Swords. This chick does not play. This chick, in, in like three minutes, will jones you on how your outfit sucks and how you need to be more professional and how you should have known that movie reference. But as far as professional advice, she's legit. She's the Libra woman. And you see this sword? Like, she will cut you with it. I love her. She will literally, like, slice you to pieces with it. But it, it is what it is. Um, this is really urging many of you to be single-minded and focused in any independent and creative projects you have. No distractions. You must be professional. All right? I haven't been the most professional um, as much as I could be. So I'm more, I, I can see where I can work into that myself. Um, but this also denotes a quality of woman who you will be guided through with. Um, very intellectual. Some of you are this woman. And whenever we pull a royal court card as an underlying theme, it is a actual person, but it's also a quality of your consciousness now. Y'all gotta see this reading. Mm-mm. Y'all gotta see this reading. With that said, let's get to this spread. So we have the Three of Wands and the Temperance card as the main core of the reading. In fact, you, you could just see the reading here. As you can see, it's quite the story. Um, we have you riding towards victory, getting ready to partake in this cup, but there's some conflict. So I just kind of want to denote the main lesson here with the Three of Wands and the Temperance. This is a Sun and Aries card. What are the, what are, what are the odds that for Aries reading, you guys saw me shuffle and pull the Sun and Aries card for the main core. Magic. That's what those odds are. So this, this season is all about planning forward and an enterprising motion, putting your life in order. It's so amazing to see the Temperance card here. There's going to be a lot of balance. So as a challenge, Temperance is saying you need to exercise good moderation. You need to exercise good management because a lot of ships are going to come in for you. There's going to be a lot of what you're able to um, do as opportunities will open up. And this is all about making the proper long-term plans and opening up opportunities for travel as well. Now, it's great to see the Four of Pentacles as a uh, crown with the six of wands as a foundation, you're stepping into greater recognition and you're stepping into greater financial material gain and, and stability, greater financial stability. These plans you're doing are to secure this, but inside you're seeing that you're getting greater recognition for, for most of, for most of you women watching this, you're embracing this empress archetype, your beauty. Okay, you're, you're riding along this chariot and the page of swords is talking about, you know, a recent communication that you might have made uh, coming out of Pisces season, being alerted to an initial sense of truth. Now, this is where there's some conflict moving forward, stepping into Aries season, arguments, drama. Um, I had this yesterday. I sent someone a DM. Uh, you know, in an attempt to perhaps squash a misunderstanding. And let's just say this person decided to take it all the wrong way and be very rude. Not going to lie. But hey, you know, I, lesson learned. Um, you're definitely going to find, especially coming out of this Mercury retrograde, that there's misunderstanding and communication. It's not even just that, too. It's not even just that, too. Like, uh, I got a call earlier from somebody who was kind of wondering if I was getting at his ex-girlfriend because he saw that I loved some of her posts and pictures and, and you know, some people kind of brought to his attention, hey, isn't this your dude? Like, why is he getting at her like this? And thankfully, you know what I'm saying? This is a classic Mercury retro thing. Thankfully, he didn't do what most people do and just assume things. He, like a man, spoke to me and we got to squash this. So I'm just letting you know, like there's miscommunication afoot moving forward. Um, you, you, there will be verbal arguments. You want to, and now the thing here is this is you. So this is going to come from other people. Okay. But here's the caveat. 
embrace this is why i said earlier allow people to luxury to dislike you embrace what happens don't don't try and be right here okay i'm not gonna say to aim for peace but if we look at how this is gonna end this is all the same person this person is gonna offer a cup and the ace of cups is about accepting forgiveness the ace of cups in a reading especially is when someone is ready to renew a relationship to forgive Okay, so the guidance here is to accept the cup, especially with the outcome of the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're coming into greater wealth, but you're going to come into greater patience. The Seven of Pentacles is after all the work you've done Aries season, leading in a Taurus season, you're going to have a lot of energy to gather resources, see what you have ready to save, and nurture your garden. But I see this as this person. Whereas, you know, on the surface, this person may seem like they hate you, but maybe they get level headed. I don't know. Open up their heart and decide to resolve things peacefully instead of like a bitch. You never know. So keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, definitely accept the cup. Take the cup in whatever form it comes. This is promising you love. For some of you, this could be with someone that you don't hit it off well at first. So uh, I think that's very interesting that we pulled this theme here. We are off to a great start. So this next portion of the reading is to denote the five card horseshoe romantic influence for the month. Okay, this is definitely going to give us a chronological order of what to expect, let's say. Okay, and um, yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to follow this with three romance angel oracle card pulls as well. Yeah. <gasps> the underlying thing we have is union. Uh, some of you may be moving in with somebody or some of you may be having a wedding, okay? Or invited to a wedding. So this is great. I mean, this is a Venus and Aries card too. So we're starting this transit off pretty fire, okay? Oh, soulmate card just showed up. Beam, beam, beam. So nice. Okay. So yes, this is very cool. This is talking about connecting with someone who you mutually inspire joy with. And, you know, once again, this is very key when it comes to moving situations. And it doesn't even have to be strictly romantic, but because the context of this spread is romantic, it is. Okay. And now I'm going to pull three romance oracle cards. I knew it! I knew it! Okay. With that said, let's get to the spread. So, as you can see, this is our five-card horseshoe spread. Um, This is the card I was bugging out, out about. Ooh, did you see that synchronicity, though? Oh! It's magic over here! All right, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we have the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, the soulmate card. Do y'all see that? Wow. The two of pentacles and the uh, nine of wands. So I know you see this. So this is this person. And then this person is this person. So I get the sense that with the hierophant, uh, this is all about establishing new tradition, really aligning yourself with the status quo. This is a proposal card. These are, this is a, a marriage card. This is a wedding card. So, I mean, some of you are taking it there. All right. Um, if you're already married, this this isn't really renewing vows as much as it is just really deeply appreciating what you've built together or, you know, connecting on a deeper level. So the Hierophant is important because it's definitely denoting not only establishment of like a greater tradition, but you being in a position to align your spiritual beliefs and come into a much more sacred understanding of any connections that you have. So unexpected, this is the soulmate card. Unexpectedly, you're gonna connect with someone you have a past life connection with or that you just have a very familiar connection with. Hence why we have this card here, which I'll get to. And the two of pentacles is instantly dealing with the ups and downs that come with this connection. 
But what I sense more so is the level of productivity and practicality where both of you may start working together on a project. And I get the sense that the nine of pen wands here is the soulmate you'll be connecting with that might be a little bit skeptical of you at first because they, you know, they have their walls up. They might have been hurt before and they don't want no scrubs. They want, they don't want to deal with BS. So they're definitely, um, they, whereas usually they'd be open, they're definitely just don't be put off by that demeanor. Okay. Um, you, this is also telling you to persevere and to be mindful of any stress, but this is very beautiful. You will unexpected. This is in the unexpected position. This is present. This is expected unexpected, near future, end of the season, okay? So this is amazing. And as we see for the first Oracle card, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, literally, as we have here. And then we have the you deserve love card, you are lovable. So unexpectedly, you are gonna connect with your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Me! Soulmate alert, soulmate alert. So yes, keep that in mind accordingly because what this definitely allows um, is, and this makes sense because Venus is gonna be transiting Pisces during Aries season and the Neptunian aspect is going to bring high romance. So other than that, um, really don't, Count yourself out. This soulmate really could be the one. Here's a bonus card, right? It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek, but um, that's act. Don't 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 apply that to this. For some of you, it could be someone new because we got the Ace of Cups in the other Celtic Cross spread. And so now we are going to step into the career. I'm going to pull three tarot cards in order to denote breakthrough keys or more so ways to maximize your current potential in whatever respective career fields you are in. The underlying thing we have is the world card, which is denoting that you are entering a completion stage. You are ready to, at a very powerful level, manifest uh, the, the physical fullness and wholeness of what it is you're, you're putting in this looks more like a scandal than anything career related though so this is going to speak to some people i didn't mean to put this together but um this almost looks like this lady's cheating on this person there's a bit of infidelity here but um uh let's it's in far as a breakthrough seven of wands is saying you want you're gonna work better on your own you are going to work better on your own when it comes to career find ways that you can collab with people but whatever you have to do on your own, um, you can. And even if you collab with people, you want to be in a position to work strategically here. Um, you might have to break some rules, which is why the Seven of, of Swords is here. You know what you have to do is right, but it might not be right to do um, conventionally. So it is worth it to take that unconventional aspect. Lover's card is saying that career is going to be a place where you come into romance, probably why we got that two of pentacles after the soulmate card. But this is also saying you want to connect your mind and heart and to break through in career this, this month, this season, you want to love what you do, find very creative outlets for the work you do. Even if all you do is sweep the floor all day, you want to make this fun. You want to find ways that you can add love to it, even if it's hard. But ultimately, we do have the Nine of Swords. This is not easy, um, but it's a breakthrough card because you must confront your stress. Where is your anxiety coming through? This is not saying to hope that it gets better. Confront it. Be honest about it. Write it down in a journal. Do the work. Clear your mind. Clear your mind through knowing that the darkest does come before dawn. And this is actually a great card to get because it's going to have you really intellectually understand what mental blocks and fears are stopping you from doing what you got to do. So I'm going to pull one more tarot card as a spiritual lesson, and then I'm going to pull two oracle cards, one from each deck. The 
wisdom of the house of night and the wisdom of the oracles. Yes, indeed. So the, the spiritual lesson for you is to believe in your truth. The Knight of Swords is reckless. The Knight of Swords doesn't care about the details. It knows the truth. And before it really, you know, figures it out, it leaps towards it. So this is going to manifest in the form of an actual individual who um, I'm a Knight of Swords. I'm a son of Gemini, but they don't have to be a Gemini. It's going to be someone who alerts you to the truth. This is a message. You're really going to uncover and in some cases be exposed or get exposed the truth of the situation. And this is not at all a bad thing. For the Oracle card, we have the High Priestess of Earth who's going to do everything in her power to really show you the wisdom of what you're grounding into your reality. Really utilize your Uranus and Taurus to add more to your sensual experience and what you can gain from that as well, quite powerfully so. And uh, the final Oracle card we have quite appropriately is new life. And I mean, we're stepping into a new cycle. So let me read the excerpt of that because that one oh, looks like there's a message in this book. Birth of new ideas, growth opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. This is like the card of spring. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon on all of us. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world, and you have the energy to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. So I get the sense that this Knight of Swords could be that Five of Swords character, someone rushing in to argue with you. And the way to wear this person out is to let them talk. Don't try and argue with them. Just let them voice out whatever they're doing. And when they're done, ask them, are you finished or are you done? No, but <laughs> no, but other than that, the, these people are, are more talk than they are action. It's not to say that they won't take action, but don't, don't be overly threatened by the hostile attitude this person may have. Um, they're, they probably just in their feelings. But other than that, even though they're more intellectually ruled, for some of you, this is a good news. This is going to alert you and enlighten you to the truth of a situation that can bring in this new life and ground with the high priestess of earth. Thank you very much for tuning in. Moving forward, these will be exclusive on Patreon. So if you'd like to join, go below. <clears throat> this is $22. So everything below this tier, you will also get as well. And I'm going to put a middle tier uh between that as well and yes i am conducting my webinar tomorrow at 3 p.m pst so please show up and uh join us and yeah i really do hope to see y'all there that one is patreon exclusive so for those of you who would like to join and see it whether live or whether not live you'll be able to when you're live you can ask a question and I will answer it. If you're not watching it live, you can message me a question and I'll answer it through Patreon. So uh, definitely looking forward to that one. That one is Aries Season Webinar 2019. Lights, camera, action. So yeah, please enjoy that. And until next time, 